Yep, this is it. He was about uh, seven years old, I believe, when they first uh, sent him to Laurel Heights. Mom. Ah. She was in a facility that I, I really did worry about her a lot because I didn't know what they might do to her. They come, they... Well, her suggestion was for me to give my son over to DFACS. I didn't know what to do. So and somebody suggested that I see Parkwood. We've been going in circles. And then about it, you know, seeing this tape, looking at this tape, you know, we need we need some help. We were referred to the Marcus Institute where um, she's been diagnosed with schizophrenia. I wonder how can I get that lifted off of her record because it actually limits her services with her having a dual diagnosis of MR and schizophrenia. I don't really want my child to go to a residential facility and stay, you know, I kind of don't know what it's like there and because I don't know what goes on in those facilities, I, I get kind of shaky and fearful. So um, really, I've thought about it, but I just think institutions are a scary place to put a child this young. So if I had a choice, I would not want my child to be in an institution. Give me my hands. <laughs> I was 25 years old. Right. Alone, by myself, you know, yeah. all that good stuff. Yeah, I, I can't work and take care of her and take her to therapy in Augusta, because I lived in Waynesboro, and then take her to, I'd take her to Augusta two or three times a week for therapy. And that just, I didn't know what to do. So, and somebody suggested that I see Parkwood. She's improved a little in a few areas, but not like I think she should. They don't really have enough, um, I don't think they have enough stuff for them to do. You know, they get bored pretty easily. They mostly watch TV. Funding is a big problem because once they're here, the state feels like they're safe and they don't make the amends to get them into a less restrictive environment as far as the funding is concerned. So that's the, that's the biggest problem that I have. If somebody's ready for a discharge or if the family wants them in another environment, it's a uh, big fight to get the funding for them. Uh, I got several that are ready to be in less restrictive environments, but due to the funding not being available, they're still here. Where's Fred? He's coming. My son has a community service worker. The funding is here, but since they combine regions, she said she don't know if, um, you know, he would be a high priority because most defects kids are first. So her suggestion was for me to give my son over to defects. It's not like I would be neglecting him, she said, but it would just, it would be like I'm just trying to get help for him. I think defects is for children that are neglected and abused, or that don't have anywhere to go, not for a child that has a family that's asking for help. Just asking for someone to help them teach him some skills where he could function in society. I wasn't looking to institutionalize her. At Atlanta Regional, uh, she was placed in a unit for violent children, adolescents, but not necessarily children with any diminished mental capabilities. We had to go there often to make sure she was being cared for. I mean, she wasn't being bathed. She wasn't being uh, sent to school for a long time. She was actually there uh, 81 days. It just got so depressing to me to leave her there for that amount of time that I felt like I'd had a couple of months break that I was just going to bring her back home and see if we couldn't, uh, you know, if she was better or if she wasn't better, I was just willing to go back to what I had. It was just not a good situation to leave her in the hospital. And uh, so we decided to bring her back home. What are some things that you've always wanted to do? Play for the NBA. 
What we going to do after we come to McDonald's? We go after McDonald's. It's true. After she leave, I, yeah, I start crying because I miss her. And I miss the whole family. But my grandma is the main one I miss. It hurts. It really does. I just want him back, back with us, you know, back in the house with me. I'm gonna graduate, and then I'm gonna get a job. I don't know what job yet. That's what I'm asking. Do other people believe in me? If I could believe in myself.